Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing products from Timu. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Let me know how you like the reviews and if you guys agree. The first product we are going to be testing from Timu is a one piece popsicle mold, creative popsicle mold, silicone popsicle mold, ice cream mold, frozen ice cube. That is the title. Oh, there's more, but you get the point. It was $3.19. It came as a four pack if you wanted to do four, but it also came as a eight pack also. I wanted to try putting smoothies in here just as an alternative, as a healthy reward at the end of the day. The assembly was easy and Making the smoothie and putting in was just as easy. A little messy, but it's okay. If you guys have any smoothie recommendations or what you guys put in your popsicle holders, drop them in the comments below. I would love to try new things. I put this in the freezer for 24 hours and 24 hours later they were completely frozen. I'm sure it did not take 24 hours to freeze. I do like it that it comes with a case instead of just the popsicle part. That way it will stay up in the freezer. To get the popsicle molds a little loose so you could take them out, I did end up running it under hot water for a couple minutes and then they popped right out. And the after, it was really good. I've had this for a couple weeks now and I have refilled it more than once and I have eaten them all more than once and I can't complain. It's what I was looking for and for a cheap price. The next thing we are testing is a four piece refrigerator liners that are washable. Refrigerator mats, waterproof and oilproof fridge liners for shelves, cover pads for freezers, glass shelf, cupboard cabinets, and drawer mats. Love the titles. They were $3.99. They came in dark gray, black, and light gray. I believe I got the black. Um, the main reason I wanted them is, I don't know, I just didn't like staring at the bars or the grates of the shelving. And so I figured I would get something to cover it up. And in case there was a mess, then it would serve the purpose of not going through the racks. Was it necessary? Not really. Do I like it? It's okay. I don't think it'll last forever, but I don't know. Maybe like a 5 out of 10 I would give it. This next item was already discontinued off the Timu site, so I will read something similar than what it was. Um, interesting. I don't know why it got discontinued so quickly. I could take a few guesses. It is a mini chip bag sealer, handheld heat vacuum sealer and cutter, portable chip bag resealer machine. This one is $5.48. Oh, I paid $4.07 for mine. It was... I don't say complicated to figure out. It took some time to figure out. You needed two AA batteries. I don't really prefer this um, knife switch on the top of the sealer. I feel like they could have put it in a different spot. It seemed a little dangerous to me to be right there. I kept clicking it thinking that's what was turning the sealer on, but no, it was just pushing the knife out behind me. And I didn't realize that, but it did seal. It took a few times to understand what to do and like how to keep the bag straight, but it did seal. I tested it on the chip bag, like you see here. 
and no chips fell out. And then turn it on and off, you just have to push the that inside piece out. Ironic that I'm like sealing a Ziploc bag that's already sealed. That's all I could think of at the time. But it did seal the carrots in and then you just take your handy dandy knife that's on the gadget and then you can slice back open whatever you're needing to open again. I don't like that knife placement. The gadget does work. Would I use it a lot? Probably not. I don't know. I think I give it like a 3 out of 10. This next gadget, let's hope for something better, is a two-piece sandwich cookie cutters, sandwich cutter and sealer, stainless steel sandwich cutter set, vegetable fruit cutter, crust cutter for making sandwiches, hamburgers, pies, square, baking tools, kitchen gadget. I got it for $1.73. It says it's $1.74 today. It came in yellow and red. I wanted to try this for lunches that I make for work just to save a little bit more time. I figured instead of buying the like uncrustables, I think that's what they're called, the smuckers, at the store, which are pretty expensive in my opinion, I figured I could just make my own. This gadget, I feel like you have to do it repetitive times until you get your technique down. Either if you want to like cut the sandwich first or do it at the same time. Once you are done filling your sandwich, you just use the red mold to kind of seal in the sandwich with the dents. It does seal it in. I mean, I kind of overfilled this one. That's why it's leaking out. Um, and then I just saran wrapped it and put them in the freezer to keep so it's ready for the next day. I usually took it out the night before and left it in the fridge just to thaw out a little bit. So this one, I just used the cutter first, and then after I was done filling, then I used the sealer mold, I believe that's what they're calling it, to seal the sandwich together, and it does, nothing came out. In the end, I think this would be great for saving time. If you don't want to spend the money for the Uncrustables, you could use this and fill your sandwiches with whatever you wanted to. I will 100% keep using this in the future and make sandwiches, put them in the freezer and have them for lunch the next day. It saves so much time. For kid or adult lunches, it does not matter. I would give this, I don't know, 9 out of 10. I love it. I keep using it. Last up, we have a few clothing items, dresses, plus a pair of shoes I just wanted to try out from Timu. This first dress is the floral print split vacation dress, vacation spaghetti strap, sleeveless dress, woman's clothing. I got it in black. It also came in green and ginger colored. It is a size medium and I got it for $8.47. Next is the V-neck loose tank dress, casual sleeveless dress for spring and summer woman's clothing. I got it in black and a size medium for $6.18. It comes in other colors. I've already bought in the blue and green that it comes in, so it's a win for me. This last dress is the solid crew neck dress, elegant sleeveless ruched split bodycon dress, woman's clothing. It comes in a variety of colors. I got the medium for $7.11 in dark green. You can easily dress it up or dress it down for the park or for an elegant dinner. I loved this dress too. It was either casual if I wanted it to be or dressy if I wanted it to be too. Lastly for clothing, I got a woman's 
bow knot, casual shoes, lightweight, low top shoes in black on a size nine. They are perfect, they fit comfortable. Lastly, at the end of the shopping, I saw this All Too Well pillow, which is a Taylor Swift song. It was $2.88 pillow cover. I grabbed it. It's okay. It's not perfect. The lyrics are a little off and kind of smudged together, but you get what you pay for, so it's okay. Here is the final review. Some hits and misses. Let me know how you guys like this review and if I should do more Timu hauls or other hauls. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. And I will see you guys next Wednesday for more fun. See ya!